The heavy character in the final is about three things, damage, destruction, and defense. We've got two builds made for all three. Whether you're catching this during the closed beta or the future closed or open betas, these builds should still be viable, barring any huge updates. And if you're looking for any light or medium build videos, those are there, but let's talk about the heavy. Starting off with what I'm calling the tank build, we're gonna run that ground slam specialization. Remember when you start this from the ground, it turns into a charge that can take you through a wall, other characters, barriers, whatever's in front of you. But when started from the air, it turns into a ground slam attack that has a uh, area of effect once you land. As for guns, we're running the LMG. As for gadgets, of course we're running the RPG. This guy practically writes itself, but I also like to run the barricade and explosive mine. As is with a lot of the gadgets, you know, it's kind of preference which you want to swap out, but I find the barricade really useful for controlling cash out stations and the area around them. And plus, if people haven't played Rainbow Six, they don't know about putting the explosive mine right behind that barricade. I don't mind the C4 for this either. Of course, you can, you know, control and play with those in different ways, but I do like the kind of set it and forget it idea of the explosive mine. And especially now that through the updates, I think they're working properly, I think it's a pretty viable option. As for being a tank and putting that damage out effectively, that's why I want to go with the LMG here. You know, you get that accuracy, you get that kind of mid to long range with the, with the heavy that you don't get from those other weapons. The RPG is kind of undeniably good. It's useful for all of the things that an RPG could be useful for. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the damage get nerfed in the future. But as for right now, you know, it's hitting characters effectively. It's, you know, taking out walls, any other barriers effectively. And it's super useful for disrupting cash out stations. Like I said, I found the barricade and explosive mine useful. Barricades, you know, you're going to control either where those other characters will go, or you're just providing a little bit extra cover for you and your teammates for whatever point you're trying to be at. But if you really want to drive home that defensive stance, you can go with the defensive option, starting with switching that specialization to the mesh shield. If you've ever played Overwatch, this is a bit like a Reinhardt shield. It's effectively stopping anything that's coming at the front of your heavy character. Again, with defense, the way you'll be playing here, uh, using that mesh shield, being in front of your teammates, but also setting up defensive options for them that don't involve you being in front. So the LMG is going to be most useful. You could also probably play back with that grenade launcher. You know, they've, it's become more of like, I think a mid range weapon, uh, but you know, you're still going to get detonations off those first bounces. Or especially if you're in contact, direct contact with your teammate, you can play like your Reinhardt from Overwatch. You can grab the sledgehammer, you know, swapping back between the, the shield and the sledge. Uh, this is how we're going to set this up uh, effectively comes down more to our gadgets and communicating with your team that you are short, short range. And I only suggest this because the sledge, not but even before it just got a buff, is a pretty effective weapon, especially on small and medium targets. But we're bringing that RPG back. It's just a little too good to ignore, you know, even though we're talking about defense. And we're bringing the barricade back, because like I said, creating those defensive points for your teammates, is just a huge advantage. If you have it unlocked, we're gonna bring in the dome shield. Right now in the beta, it's it's locked at a kind of higher level. It's super effective. It did just catch a nerf. You can't move it around after you place it anymore. It's still effectively a secondary mesh shield like your specialization, except that, you know, dome, it's 360. I know neither of these shields last super long, but I think that, you know, they're super effective at especially chaining these back and forth so that you are always able to give your teammates cover. If you don't have the dome shield, I think the gunade is a great secondary option. You know, if you're thinking about, you line up a gunade one side, barricade the other side, or just combine those together you know you have a lot of coverage and we have all those the shield abilities i think that's what opens up the opportunity to use the sledgehammer effectively like i said i do think this needs to be in a comp that you are in communication with your teammates so that they know that you're doing this a because i think it takes some team play to make builds like that effective and you know b that you have no long to mid range like i said this is defensive this is you holding down the cash out nearby i think part of me just wanted to make the sledgehammer viable but let me know if that works for you so what about these builds do they sound similar to what you're already using what if anything are you changing when you go in with a heavy character let us know down in the comments or keep it to yourself and stay better i guess again if you want those light or medium builds those videos are there please go give them a watch and until next time Get it? Let's go. Chi cheese. <laughs>